Why do the Sun and the Moon have the same size when viewed from Earth? How do our solar eclipses happen? What types of solar eclipses are there? In this video, we'll briefly explain the solar eclipse phenomenon. Even though the Sun is about 400 times larger than the Moon, it also happens to be 400 times further away from the Earth than the Moon is. For this reason, the Sun and the Moon appear to have virtually the same angular size in our skies. Thanks to this coincidence, we can observe spectacular astronomical phenomena – solar eclipses. A solar eclipse happens when the Moon comes between the Earth and the Sun and fully or partially blocks the sunlight from reaching the Earth. Solar eclipses can occur only during the new Moon phase. If the Moon's orbit were in the same orbital plane as the Earth's, we would observe solar eclipses every month. However, the lunar orbit is tilted at more than 5 degrees to the Earth's orbit around the Sun. For this reason, the Earth becomes engulfed in the Moon's shadow only at certain periods of time. Each year, solar eclipses can occur from 2 up to 5 times. During a solar eclipse, the Moon casts two shadows onto the Earth, the umbra and penumbra. Depending on the type of shadow you're standing in, you'll see different types of solar eclipses. There are four types of solar eclipses, total, partial, annular, and hybrid. A total solar eclipse is the most spectacular one. It occurs when the Moon completely covers the Sun's disk. You can see a total solar eclipse only if you're standing within the umbral shadow of the Moon. As the umbra moves across the Earth, it creates a trail called the Path of Totality. If your area is located within the Path of Totality, you'll be able to experience a total solar eclipse. If you're standing within the penumbral shadow, outside the path of totality, you'll see a partial solar eclipse, the second type. A partial eclipse occurs when the Moon covers only part of the Sun's disk. The third type is an annular solar eclipse. It happens when the Moon passes directly in front of the Sun but is positioned too far away from the Earth to cover the Sun completely. This produces a glowing ring around the Moon's silhouette. Because of this, the annular eclipse is sometimes called the Ring of Fire eclipse. The fourth type is a hybrid eclipse, a combination of two types of eclipses. Depending on the observer's location, a hybrid eclipse will look like an annular eclipse or a total eclipse. We remind you that while observing a solar eclipse, you must use proper eye protection that will block the harmful parts of the Sun's radiation. Looking directly at the Sun can cause serious injury. Now you know how solar eclipses work. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.